The new Dietary Guidelines for Americans for 2020 through 2025 were just released this morning, and I know this is the first many of y'all will have heard about it, so let's summarize a few of the key findings and break down some of the details that are a little more controversial or interesting to all of the keto and vegan people out there. Stay tuned. The first part has to do with different stages of life, which we're not going to dwell on in this video. The second part provides some guidance about eating a healthy diet, regardless of your cultural background or your financial means. So we're going to keep it moving and take a look at the third part. This is really the meat and potatoes of it right here. You can see they break down the core elements that make up a healthy dietary pattern. Interestingly, we see beans included in vegetables rather than in the so-called protein food groups, except for soy. And then we also see they included oils and they included a section on dairy. This is where it starts to get controversial. We can see the dietary guidelines placed a limit recommending no more than 10% of calories come from added sugar. And I believe that's for adults and children over two. So there were groups that wanted to remove all added sugars from the dietary guidelines, but just my opinion, beverage lobby is pretty strong, added sugars, limit to 10% stayed in the dietary guidelines. Okay, the next somewhat controversial recommendation is the dietary guidelines recommend getting no more than 10% of your calories from saturated fat. And they break down the main sources of saturated fat in the American diet. Now for my vegan audience out there, I believe some of y'all will be <laughs> surprised by the way this infographic breaks down the sources of saturated fat in the American diet placing much more saturated fat intake coming from sandwiches and desserts than from a dedicated dairy category. Kind of interesting how that's broken down, don't you think? Now for all the keto people watching this video, I know many of y'all are gonna be upset that there is a 10% recommendation upper limit. 10%, no more than 10% of calories coming from saturated fat when there are so many people in the keto community who promote saturated fat as healthy. So what will we see? What will the reaction be? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, check out this playlist I'm about to throw up on a thumbnail that will pop up and show some of the best interviews and depositions from the Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee meeting by clicking on the thumbnail that pops up right now. All right, y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan, next. <laughs>